Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Val if you are new to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you guys how I use these amazing oils in my wash day regimen. I love them and swear by them. So first I'm going to be using my avocado oil. This is 100% pure avocado oil. Um, next I'll be using my extra virgin olive oil, of course, love this, and my coconut oil. So this is extra virgin coconut oil as well. So I'll be deep conditioning after I mix everything together. So right here is my plastic bag. You guys know I don't use plastic shower caps or conditioning caps to DC. So I'll just be using my plastic bag. And I'm gonna be using my measuring spoon. This has been like a holy grail in my regimen. It's so old school. I don't even know where I got it from, but I use this to measure all of my oils and an applicator brush to kind of just scoop up my conditioner and mix everything together. So that's everything guys, let's get right into it. So I forgot to mention that the spoon that I'm using is a teaspoon in size. So now I'm just gonna grab my coconut oil and scoop out about a teaspoon worth of oil and place it directly into my mixing bowl. Um, so I'm just gonna repeat this process with the rest of the oils. So the avocado oil and olive oil. And it may not seem like I'm using a lot, um, but to be honest, these oils are very potent and it doesn't take an excessive amount to see the great results. All right, so now that I have all my oils in the bowl, I kind of just crushed my coconut oil into the other oils. I'm not a fan of putting my oils into the microwave and I'm kind of lazy when it comes to doing the double boiler method. So this just works perfect for me. So I'm gonna continue mixing the oils until everything is well blended and smooth. All right, so I'm done mixing my oils and now it's time to add in my deep conditioner and today's deep conditioner of choice is my Humecto Cream Conditioner from Caracare. You guys know I love and swear by this DC. It is completely moisture based, zero protein. So that's what I'm gonna be using. So I'm just gonna open this up. This is what the texture looks like. The consistency is very smooth and creamy. So now I'm gonna add about five scoops of the conditioner into the oil mix. Okay, so now it's time to mix the oils with the conditioner until everything is nice, smooth, and well blended in. All right, so I just finished shampooing my hair. So I pre-pooed with protein on dry hair, and then I shampooed and then t-shirt dried for about 10 to 15 minutes. So my hair right now feels really soft, feels conditioned um, just from doing that. So this is what the mixture looks like. So this is Humecto mixed with the three penetrating oils. So you guys know I always do my hair in sections, um, especially my deep treatments. So I'm going to be applying the deep conditioner to my ends first and then working my way up to my roots. All right, so now I want to get into why I love these three penetrating oils. Yes, you heard me right. Each of them penetrate deep into the cortex of the hair shaft to help repair the hair, fortify the hair, and increase elasticity. Um, so for me, it took a while for me to discover these oils and the way they work collectively and individually. But ever since I started using them in my regimen, I just noticed an increase in thickness, strength, just overall healthier hair. So um, if you're a true OG follower as well, you would have already known that I swear by these oils, this combination I've been using for years especially in my moisturizing deep conditioners um, usually if they don't have oils in them already I will add these three penetrating oils in there just to boost the benefits of the conditioner and I like to call it the 3PO so 3PO obviously stands for the three penetrating oils so that's olive oil coconut oil and avocado oil and I've raved about these oils you guys on my blog for years because they are just that good so now I want to get into the benefits of each oil, the results I received with them, um, just so you guys can understand why I love them so much. Okay, so first up is avocado oil, and if you're not familiar with the benefits, it's really rich in vitamin A, D, E, 
and B6. So it really helps to nourish the follicles and the scalp. So these vitamins are good for restoring the health, strength, and moisture in dry, brittle hair. So if you suffer from dry hair, avocado oil is great because it acts as a humectant. So it draws moisture into the hair. So it increases the moisture levels to prevent your hair from drying out, which obviously helps towards breakage and just overall length retention. Okay, so next up is coconut oil, which is one of my favorites. I know many don't like this oil, um, especially as a sealant, but it's amazing in the conditioning phase, and that's how I choose to use it. So I've raved about this on my blog. I have several blog posts on coconut oil. If you haven't checked it out, I'll leave it in the description box below. But coconut oil is amazing. It can penetrate up to 90% into the hair cortex, so that's amazing for repair and just reducing damage in the hair, especially if you have chemically treated hair like relaxed hair or even color treated hair coconut oil is going to be very beneficial for you so it has a high affinity for protein in the hair coconut oil does not have protein but it helps to reduce protein loss in the strands so it's really good if you're trying to reinforce the integrity of your hair um, and you don't want to lose any thickness in your hair so it really helps to preserve the overall density of your strands so for my ladies who are all about you know trying to thicken up their hair or just really um, increase the volume coconut oil is going to be your friend so um, yeah I love it it's a low molecular weight so it nourishes the hair it penetrates perfectly um, and a little bit goes a long way and it really helps for surface porosity in your hair so for me I have like high to normal porosity so coconut oil is definitely um, something that I've seen really just work its magic in my hair journey all right, so I finished applying my deep conditioner in sections and now I'm ready to go under my hooded dryer for about 25 minutes or so. So while I'm under my dryer, I'm gonna be reading one of my favorites, The Science of Black Hair. I love this book. If you haven't read this book, you're truly missing out. I'll leave the link in the description box below just in case you're interested. So I just finished deep conditioning and I rinsed it all out with cool water just to seal in all the benefits. So I t-shirt dried, I want to say for about 15 to 20 minutes or so. And this is what my hair is looking like. It feels really soft, you guys, incredibly soft. It feels conditioned, it feels smooth. It just feels amazing. And I always, always, always get predictable results every time I use these three penetrating oils with my deep conditioners. So it's just a staple for me. So now I'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner, the Talia Widget Protective Botifying Mist Leave-In. That's a mouthful. Um, this is straight moisture, you guys. Zero protein, extremely conditioning, softening, moisturizing, all that good stuff, all in one. So I really swear by this leave-in as well. I love it. So I'm just going to apply it from my ends all the way up in sections and just kind of finger detangle it through um, so it can get everywhere. So now I'm sectioning off my hair so I can thoroughly detangle using my seamless wide tooth comb. I use this all the time. You guys have seen this in majority of my wash day videos. I swear by it. I absolutely love it. And because it's seamless, it doesn't snag on my hair. It's extremely gentle, so it really helps to prevent breakage in that sense. Um, it's just a staple, hands down, like the best. All right, so let's discuss the benefits of olive oil because we already covered avocado oil and coconut oil. So olive oil is packed with vitamin E and A, you guys, which is great for combating dry, itchy scalp, dry, flaky scalp, all the above. <laughs> um, and it also penetrates up to 25% into the hair shaft. So it goes right into the cortex. And that's truly where the hair repair takes place, you guys, not on the surface, not just on the cuticle, but into the core of the hair which is the cortex. So it improves the condition of the hair, it increases the elasticity as well. So overall, it's just great at nourishing the hair and I love, love, love this oil, especially combined with the others. So now I'm doing the scarf method to lay down the front of my hair so it's nice and smooth and I always end my wash days doing um, this method so it gives me a nice smooth, sleek look whether I'm stretching my relaxer or not. So to help give my hair a straighter appearance as I'm air drying, I like to smooth my hair with my fingers. That way my hair dries with some structure and it remains straight and smooth with no frizz. 
So periodically as my hair is drying, I just continue to smooth it out with my fingers and honestly that's all I do to achieve straight air dried hair. So here's the back. This is what it looks like. It's full of body and movement. These oils don't weigh down my hair at all. It just gives me soft, conditioned, nourished hair, period. So two to three hours have passed and my hair is about maybe 80% dry, but it feels super soft. It feels strong. Like this is my holy grail, you guys. Like. I can't. <laughs> you guys comment down below. Let me know if you've used these oils individually or collectively in your regimen. What were your results? Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye.